40 horsepower. I'm Tom with Viva Las Vegas Autos, and that's what it works out to be. This uh, car dynoed at uh, 629 rear wheel horsepower. It's a 2003 Ford Mustang Cobra uh, SVT with a supercharged 4.6 liter V8. And this car has a um, this car has a Kenny Bell twin screw 2.2 liter Blowzilla supercharger. And uh, with all the upgrades, fuel upgrade, fuel system upgrades, um, exhaust, and popular with uh, independent rear suspension um, Cobras, this car has the solid axle swap. So the independent rear suspension has been swapped out for an 8.8 .8 inch solid rear axle. Uh, we think it has the original 355 gears, the same gearing, so uh, that's cool. And then with this axle, the upper and lower uh, control arms are boxed and all poly bushings, so it can handle the you know 600 plus foot pounds of torque that this engine is capable of. Uh, Kenny Bell has a car just like this, a customer's car that was a 2003. Uh, Cobra with the supercharger and it uh, rear wheel horsepower 627 which is two less than this car. That car did a 1080 quarter mile at 130 miles an hour. So this is an incredibly fast car. If you could get it to hook up, that was done on street uh, drag radials. Okay, this car with street tires on it, then it'll basically break the rear end loose first, second, third, and fourth gear. So hooking up is a problem with that kind of power. So anyway, uh, we'll go for a drive and uh, see how incredible uh, acceleration of this car is. Thank you. Okay, we're going to take a ride in this 2003 uh, supercharged Cobra SVT Mustang. Um, 90,000 miles, fantastic straight body, beautiful paint, and gorgeous leather interior. And we're going to see how 740 horsepower feels. So let's take off. Clutch is very strong and engages right off of the floor. And as you can see, brakes loose <laughs> basically. You kind of breathe on the gas. It takes effort actually, the paint is so watch this. concern I had going into this, you know, the independent suspension that put in the east you know, make the handle better, especially in the corner when there's bumps. But this thing, I hardly notice the difference. I know it is a difference, but with this solid axle, it seems to handle fantastic. It doesn't feel any loose, you know, any less tight in the rear end than it would have with the independent rear suspension. I know it'd probably not be quite as good in a bumpy corner, but right here, it feels absolutely wonderful so in the solid rear axle was a lot less of an issue for handling than I expected it to be and of course it's going to be way stronger to withstand the kind of power this piece puts out
that's about it. Got the uh, A-pillar gauges for boost and uh, air fuel ratio. Uh, 740 horsepower Cobra. I hope you enjoyed the ride. Thank you.